Hi, I'm Derek. Following on from our other videos outlining the progression in theatre lantern development, today I'm going to be talking to you about the evolution from tungsten based lanterns to arc and LED sourced lanterns. Perhaps the first thing to say is that these lanterns, or intelligent fixtures, do not require remote dimming. Instead, they require a standard 230 volt electrical supply in order to power them and a DMX data connection to control the lanterns. Here we have the first stage in the evolution from theatre lanterns, an LED PAR. It is recognisable as a traditional lantern with its shape based on a PAR64, but has an array of red, green and blue LEDs in place of the tungsten lamp. The benefits of LED lanterns are that they use a lot less power than traditional lanterns. A PAR64 uses 1000 watts, this one only uses 35. Also, by altering the intensity of the three colours, red, green and blue, you can create virtually any colour. This means that instead of needing three lanterns in different colours to create a traditional three colour wash, with LED lanterns you only need one. As you can see, this lantern has the characteristics of a beam light. Here we have yet another evolution in lantern technology, an LED baton. This time they have taken the job performed by a psych flood and have adapted the LED technology in order to produce the same effect. Once again, the benefits of LED include using a lot less power. A traditional psych flood would consume around 500 watts. This lantern consumes just 50. And once again, you can create pretty much any colour you could imagine. As you can see, it produces a controlled, even strip of light to wash set or backdrops. That concludes this video. In the next one, we'll be talking about the next stage in development of lantern technology, moving head lanterns.